Hey guys, welcome to Tech with DNP. In today's video, we are going to review Galaxy M31, which was launched on March 2020 as a successor for M30, which was released in 2019 month. Samsung has really made a good effort to strengthen their M series lineup in a budget range smartphones by releasing this one. So let's get started. I got this mobile from Amazon. Let me have a quick look around the box. What do we have here? As you can see, it has an 18699 Indian rupees MRP on the box, and uh, we have details like uh, RAM, 6GB RAM, and 128GB internal memory, and it has a color information as well, space black, and it is also available in blue color, but I prefer black. It is also mentioned that for Indian SIM card only. I think this model is only support for Indian SIM cards. Now let's unbox this box to have a look what's inside. Unboxing is pretty simple, it's just one plaster. So what do we have here? We have a mobile unit and a 15 watt charger. Yes, that 15 watt charger is not uh, super fast in the market, but it's still the fast charging one. And uh, we also have a USB C cable along with it. And nope, nothing. It would be good if they have earphones in it. Now let's unwrap the mobile. Now let's boot up this device. Ta-da! I think it takes some time for starting as it was the first time is done now let me get back to you after I complete few of the general settings at the beginning the settings part is completed now the device is good to go coming to build quality it's pretty good it actually feels like a premium phone in the hands and also comfortable because it's only weighs uh, about 191 gram even with 6000 mAh massive battery pack inside coming to back side of the phone it's a fiber finish uh, but feels and looks like a glass but it's not and uh, it's definitely a fingerprint magnet and backside again it does feel premium for eyes but when you touch it it does feel like delicate and prone to damage you should choose a good case for production at the end of the video i will show what is my pick for the case and we do also have a camera unit back here packed with four cameras one is 64 megapixel main camera and one 8 megapixel ultra wide camera 5 megapixel for depth sensing and 5 megapixel for macro use. As per design, no issues about camera bump. It's because it's not much a bump. And the down here we have a mono speaker which sounds pretty good for a single speaker phone and a Type C port and wow, an earphone jack. Yeah, it's always good to have a earphone jack in the smartphone because most of the users still takes time to migrate completely to Bluetooth. And we do have a microphone for receiving calls up here. Moving to right, definitely it's a slim phone. And all the buttons are moved to right, which is a good thing. And also easy to use with single hand. When to display of the phone, no need to comment on the AMOLED displays of Samsung. They are such beautiful. And this device comes with a screen resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels. And they call it as Infinite AMOLED display. Watching movies, series and YouTube in this is super fun. In addition to that, Samsung gave us an option for enabling Dolby Atmos option only when earphones are plugged in, which gives us cinematic experience with the sound. And we do have a dynamic lock screen option available. Right out of the box, I got 52% of the charge. Coming to software, it comes with Android 10 right out of the box with one UI 2.1 skin from Samsung, which is pretty slick and not much, but we will have a satisfactory snappy feeling when we are using it. And there are a lot of pre-installed apps like Snapchat, uh, ShareChat, Hello app. I don't know why they load new phones like these. 
for the next day for testing i fully charged the phone and took it took approximately two and a half hours for a full charge because of 6000 mAh battery inside it and i started my day at 6 am in the morning m30 now that i have completed registering my finger for fingerprint scanner unlocking it's fast enough good and accurate but i felt little discomfort when i tried to reach the scanner at back side which is placed at high position even with my long fingers yeah it's time to test most important part of the phone performance yeah it's gaming i have played heavy games like pubg as well as mine and cvd in this device as the device comes with exynos 9611 chipset it's playing the games with quite good graphics we can play pubg without loss of frames at high graphics but after continuous gaming the phone does get hot and not much pop but will reach normal temperature if it left alone for 10 minutes and the touch response is also good for gaming and the display and the dolby atmos option just lets you submerge in it for more intense game I have been sharing this video clip of the gaming using screen recorder app. That's why we can see some lag. But uh, when you are gaming, it's uh, it's not visible. Now we can move to camera performance of the phone. I woke up early in the morning, literally at 6 a.m. for a few clicks under sunlight. But weather just threw lemons on me, so I made lemonade and managed to click few pictures and videos. Let's take a tour about them. and i have taken few sunset pictures after i have unboxed the phone and it turns out well we have pictures of few trees and quality of the pictures are really good and i also had a chance to use different camera modes this device comes in with default ultra wide option which is quite good in reality and captures most of the area which helps in capturing scenery at long range and you can check the colors from the pictures are quite natural and not so bright and not so dull i have put few patterns so that you can see the details in the pictures are not lost coming to front facing camera it has come with water drop notch and with 32 megapixel which gives us pretty good results both with images and videos you can see in the selfie camera images the color separation in the clouds in sky is pretty good and it's captured well and coming to video recording with m31 is pretty good and it can also record 4k at 30 fps and also supports super steady mode thanks to the presence of electronic image stabilization and uh, it is good to have super steady mode but when we use that super steady mode we can see the gradual decrease in quality of the video i have also tried super slow mo and slow motion video modes in this m31 but uh, under these lighting conditions super slow mo is not at all useful and uh, coming to slow motion it's working fine the last but not least we do have an option for avod always on display which is quite helpful during nights to see the time without touching it we also have an option to set the whatsapp notification we can see on the avod and we can also set images there are lot of stuff we can change in avod you can go through the settings once At last I've wrapped up testing this phone at 7:45 pm more than 13 hours screen time it has a battery of 57% notice here that I am a moderate user for heavy user it would not last these much hours for screen time our recommendation is this phone for users who are moderate and mostly entertainment centric and who wants a long screen hours as a promise I will tell you my pick in the case for M31 that is Spigen which is well priced and built is also pretty good and fits well for M31 So if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe to Tech with TNT thank you